Welcome back to another episode. Today we're headed back down to this little red brook down here at my dad's house. And hopefully the trout might be in here by now. If not, I hope there's at least some little creek chubs in here. So let's get it. I'm walking through all this long grass right now and there's a ton of mosquitoes and there's tons and tons of ticks down here. Once I came down here, I went fishing for like maybe two hours, came out and I had seven ticks on me. So probably going to have some ticks after today. And that was with some uh, little bug, bug screen, whatever you call it. Bug spray. It was with some bug spray, so I don't have any this time. So we'll just we'll see how this goes. So this is a more shallow spot right here, coming all the way down to this kind of like blockage in the creek system, and then it's just a deep pool right after that. So we're gonna go ahead, go right over there to that deep pool. Probably throw a little worm in, see if we can get any action. This is the deep hole I was talking about right after that little sandbar right there. Um, it just drops right off to about three feet compared to the inches of water that's right there. It drops like three feet that whole length all the way down to those branches down that way. So I'm going to fish this spot real quick. There's a little bobber, bobber and a worm. The only thing I don't like about this spot right now is that um, the bobber is small, so when it hits, when the worm hits the bottom, it looks like a fish is biting it. Like the bobber will go under because the current keeps pulling it. So the bobber com completely stops and looks like it's getting bit by a fish when it's really not, it's just hitting the bottom. Also, this, these smaller bobbers, they tend to sink, like they tend to fill up with water, well, depending on the brand, but I just buy cheap ones. They'll stay afloat for a little bit, but you got to empty them out every hour or so or something like that. Like, it's not the best, but like I said, I'm dragging bottom, so I can move the bobber up, but I feel like these trout might be on the bottom, and that's where I need the worm to be, so gonna keep it right on the bottom I don't think this spot is the best spot here I've been here about 30 minutes and haven't gotten a actual bite it's just been bottom the whole time so I think we're gonna go ahead switch up spots I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes right now all over my hands that's why I wore a sweatshirt today was because I didn't I didn't need these things all over my arms biting me so you guys are on a tree right now that's why it's waving around but I'm going to go ahead and move spots uh, a little bit more downstream and hopefully there's something down that way. Let's go. dam type thing, blockage, whatever you want to call it. So another deep pool with a few sticks sticking out. So there could be something sitting right at the edge of that. So we're going to go check it out. Well, as you can see in that uh, video clip, the bobber looked like it was getting, or the worm looked like it was getting hit. The bobber went under, but it was just a stick, so that's what's been fooling me. Now we're going to check right here. I think this spot is a shallow spot. Maybe not. Might as well throw a line in there just to, just to check. Might as well. So, i go ahead and throw this thing in there. Haven't gotten a bite all day so far. It's been about an hour. The bugs are attacking me like crazy. My hands 
are itching like crazy for one of these mosquitoes. Look at this guy right here. Let's see if I can get him in the thing. He's sucking out all my blood. Get out of here. Dang. Got birds fighting up there. So we're going to go ahead and cast in this spot. If we don't get anything here, there's a few more spots downstream that I didn't hit up last time. So we're going to hit up those spots. Hopefully the trout are down in this brook by now. It's about mid-spring. It's almost summertime, so they should be. We'll see, though. So in this little bend in the creek, I actually just got my first uh, little bite about 15 minutes ago. I fish here for a few more minutes, and I didn't get any more bites. So it, it was an actual bite, though. It was just, this is only like, what, a foot, and a, foot and a half down? And this hole was about four feet down, so... Um, we're not really fishing the bottom anymore, but I just got the first bite. It was not a stick, and I'm happy about that. So the more we go downstream, maybe the more bites that we'll get, but I'm not sure. So I guess we'll just explore. So this is one of the spots that I came to last time, and since I got that bite upstream a little bit, I think there may be something this little straight stretch right here so we're gonna go ahead and check it out there is number two and i just got a bite right over there so number two all i seen in this spot was a few little 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 baby minnows attacking my bobber uh on the surface right underneath or right right next to that log that's tipped over right there another little bend in the creek channel so we're gonna try again I'm going to do is put another worm on because this one is getting bitten up like crazy here. There's a lot of fish in this little pool, so I don't know how big they are. Might they might just be small ones tearing it apart like before, but maybe not. So we're gonna switch up the worm. Number three. There's the first one right there. Decent sized one. Didn't get it on camera because I can't hold the camera while getting the fish, but yeah, that's a decent sized trout, probably about nine inches noise just got this dude he has like a knife mark or something right in his side I don't know what it's from maybe a snapper but it's pretty, 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 pretty gruesome and he's pooping up some stuff too which is kind of gross but nice little creek cub Let's see if we can get this one on camera for y'all I think I have one on yep oh what is that oh just a second gotta reel this guy in kind of hard oh another creek chub it's kind of hard to reel when i'm holding the camera so decent little fatty right there at least i know there's fish in here now and this is a decent little spot for creek chub I haven't got a single bite from a trout in this spot though so decent little creek chub spot so we're going to end today's uh video on a beaver dam blocking the, the little creek and I hope you guys liked the video today. I know I didn't catch any fish on camera, but I did show you the fish that I caught after I caught them. That brook trout I'm actually going to eat later. It's above legal size, which I believe is 6 inches. If not, it's 8, and it's definitely above that. So that trout is legal. I'm going to go cook it up and eat it. But that's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, like it, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button for me. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.